These are the coils down here, uh, which are receiving uh, warm water. So water flows in continuously, and even if you touch them, you can be able to feel the warmth of water that is flowing in from the burner uh, drum. On top of the coils, we are having a uh, uh, if I can call it a uh, sacks. We have collected these sacks, uh, prepared them, and then uh, covered with the uh, covered the sacks on top of the coils so that you can be able to allow warmth and so also to protect waste from the birds to be able to uh, dump on the coils. So birds do flow on the do lie on the floor or just lie on this sack as as they lie on this sack they can be able to feel the warmth of water that has been hit from outside the tank. So on this on this on top of this coil it's very warm even if you touch it will be able to feel that warmth through this sack. So chicks will be able to lie on the sack and be able to feel that warmth. Agriculture in Kenya is and has been the backbone of our economy. But the biggest challenge though has been lack of information on emerging trends in agribusiness and modern ways of farming. AIM Agribusiness is set out to package agriculture in a more active format and practical ways to the systems of farming. We focus on You got free gas, which you have used in the brooder. Yes. So you are not spending anything on buying the charcoal. No even power. Oh my goodness. You're only using uh, electricity and solar for lighting. Yes. But the rest, gas. Gas. So there's no cost for paying power to heat coils, and there's no cost for buying charcoal. Yes. And even buying the jicos. You've processed fertilizer. You're selling at 1,400. Yes. So we say this guy is going to spend the extra 400 shillings in paying of labor yes. and paying of electricity that will run the motors yes. to dry and process the fertilizer. So he's, left, he's remaining the profit of 1,000 shillings. So if MSAT is selling 35 kilos of organic manure at 1,000 shillings yes. and he's buying 50 kilos of feed at 2,900, yes. then it simply means that you're buying a kilo of food at 1,900. Hey, Bana. This is where I want this channel to take you. That is what AIM Agribusiness or AfriChick is all about. Numbers, simple, brilliant ideas, no entertainment. You watch our channel, you get connections of such. I'm really impressed. Take us to the next stage where we see the gas doing things. Now it's time for us to, to, to see the gas coming from the brooder and being light. So this is the, kindly give us a brief explanation of the entire setup, Mr. Silva. Yeah, so thank you. Uh, this is a system that we came up with so that we can be able to improve on issues of managing uh, uh, biosensitivity to the chicks. So in this system, as you can be able to see, this is a drum containing pipes that brings in water. Then uh, it is raised from the ground a few, uh, few feet, just like one feet from the ground or a half a feet. And uh, connected it is a biogas system uh, coming from a... Uh, the main uh, biogas digester there. So down here as you can be able to see this is a coil uh, I'm putting it on and so you can be able to see our gas a lot wow. of the gas Wow, 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 this so there's gas flowing here. Yes, this is gas up to here. 
Hitting this? Hitting this containing water. Uh -huh. The water uh -huh. flows in continuously. Wow. Yes. It's like a cycle. It is a cycle, yes. Then the hot water is? Hot water is channeled using a pump uh -huh. into the brooder system. Uh -huh. Then the cold water, so that it can be able to replace water that has been uh, pumped in the system, comes from the main tap from the other side. So as this water flows in the coils, eh, it is continuous, it's a cycle. It flows back and uh, down there it goes back to the system, the brooder house. Wow. Wow. Let's go in and see what's happening. We now want to go in and see how this system is working. Because when you talk of hot water going in, yes. one might think that you're going to spray hot water on the chicken. Oh, fine. So thank you. you can show us how it's happening. Yeah, thank you. So is this the gas system or because I'm seeing so many pipes here and so many wires. What is this? Yeah, you can see a lot of connections, uh -huh. but this is not a gas system. Okay. This is uh, just a, a solar backup. Uh, we do recharge it. In case we experience a blackout, then uh, our chicks can still get support of light from this backup system. So you are fully sorted? We are full sorted. There must always be warmth, there must always be light. Yes. Let's get in and see, because we have not gotten to where we wanted to see the the hot water going to, so okay. that you can show me these wonders. Oh, fine. Cut. Oh, so this is your brooder? This is my brooder. Nicely done. How many yes. birds? Ah, uh, we are having around 1,200. Here? This is 500 birds. And the other side? The other side you are having 1,400 birds. Wow. Yes. So, as I had already talked about the issue of how water flows in from the, the main tank where we heat water, these are the pipes as you can be able to see them. There are six, indicating that the number of coils inside here also there are six. So there are those three which bring in water. And this water flows in the coils that are connected on the ground. So these are the coils, as you can be able to see. These are the coils down here, uh, which are receiving uh, warm water. So water flows in continuously, and even if you touch them, you can be able to feel the warmth of water that is flowing in from the burner uh, drum. On top of the coils, we are having a uh, if I can call it a sacks. We have collected these sacks, uh, prepared them, and then uh, covered with the uh, covered the sacks on top of the coils so that you can be able to allow warmth and so also to protect waste from the birds to be able to uh, dump on the coils. So birds do flow on the do lie on the floor or just lie on this sack as they lie on this sack they can be able to feel the warmth of water that has been hit from outside the tank. So on, this, on, this, on top of this coil, it's very warm. Even if you touch it, you'll be able to feel that warmth through this sack. So chicks will be able to lie on the sack and be able to feel that warmth.